Hey, it's Gordon here with MyMOA, and uh, continuing this is week four of 2012, a year with MyMOA unscripted. It's kind of a bonus week. I just did one a couple of days ago, but I didn't start this till the second week of January, so I'm kind of catching up. Uh, and look, I'm even holding a ukulele, so you can do something other than just watch me talk this time. The subject this week is on alternate tunings. Uh, specifically, this is one of our baritones, and uh, the customer wants it tuned in tenor. I think a lot of people think that a baritone means it's baritone tuning, where really a baritone refers to the size of the body and to the scale length from the, the nut to the saddle. Um, and yes, there is a common baritone tuning, which is D, G, B, E, but um, which is the treble four strings of a guitar, guitar, but uh, it doesn't have to be that way. And in fact, uh, we like to work on different string sets and specifying different string sets. So uh, with a different set of strings, you can make a baritone play like a tenor, uh, GCEA. And, uh, and you can do that, you know, we've shipped instruments, tenors that are tuned to octave mandolin, concerts that are tuned to mandolin, uh, within the realm of physics, which really is the strings that are available, you can tune any instrument to any, any tuning that you like. So why would someone do this? Um, Well, the uh, person that wants this wants a bigger, uh, bigger sound, more volume. And uh, I guess part of the lesson, you know, in, in life is there is no free lunch um, and everything has a trade-off. So yes, uh, putting, uh, you know, tuning a, a baritone to tenor gives it more volume than if this were a tenor body and tenor instrument. But uh, the trade-off is that um, it loses some some sharpness uh, and the sound gets a bit more uh, warmer or blendier, um, but uh, just not as as distinct. And when I when I talk about tone, by the way, I try to use terms that are not pejorative because what you like is what you like. And um, you know, warm is not a bad term. Bright is not a bad term. Uh, they're just different, and you don't get them both. So uh, with this baritone, we're going to get a little bit more volume than a tenor, and we're going to get a little bit less definition. Let's let's listen to a tenor here. This is a, an all-mango uh, tenor, tune tenor. You can probably hear it's a little quieter, but can you hear that the notes just have... Um, they have a definition and a precision. Uh, maybe you'd call that a brightness that um, that you don't get. So you can, you can probably hear that it's just a little bit more precise than with the baritone. Which one is better? Well, I leave that up to you to decide. It's really a question of what you want. You know, I think that um, it is interesting that with ukuleles, people tend to own several of them. And I think it's because ukulele owners are experimental, which I think is a great characteristic. And uh, they want to hear different tones. And they realize that one isn't better than another. It's just different, maybe sets up one sets up better for strumming versus finger picking or for certain style of songs versus another style of songs. Um, anyway, in another week, uh, not next week, but another time during the year, I'll be talking in more detail about the physics behind strings and alternate tunings and how the equations work where you can determine it. But uh, we do have string sets. If you want, if you've got a baritone and want to tune it to tenor, we've got string sets for that. We've also got string sets if you've got a tenor and want to tune it to, uh, uh, to baritone. I don't love that idea because um, the tenor body 
isn't really big enough to represent that low D note that you get on a um, on a baritone. But uh, if you're used to playing uh, guitar or used to playing in in that baritone tuning, and you've got a tenor, um, then you know that's why you might want some of those strings. Anyway, got any questions? Of course, email us. Better to do that than respond on YouTube. We're a little better on uh, email. And that's it. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.